Welcome back everyone, it's Jam Visuals here once again. Today we're going to be doing another tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the clone effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first of all, what you do need for this tutorial is you need a fixed camera location. So somewhere where your camera is not moving, there's going to be no movement. So you can either use a tripod, put it on a set of books, on a desk. Um, for this example, I used my Ronin. I just had it on the stand for the Ronin so it wasn't moving at all. And then also what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure that the camera is on manual focus, manual exposure, manual everything because you don't want autofocus, you know, pulling in focus from the window and blowing it out and everything. Um, so, so the first step what you're going to want to do is you want to get your clips all picked out and everything that you want to do the clone for. So here I have one with the artist sitting over on his desk. And then if I um, close out of that, you can see I have the artist again and he's sitting um, at the bed of the, at the foot of the bed, looking onto the bed. So basically we're gonna clone these two together. So you'll be able to see him here and you'll be able to see him here as well. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you are going to click your top clip and then you wanna to go to your effects control panels right up here. Over here you have your video effects and everything, your scale, your position, etc. And you don't wanna to touch any of that. You wanna to go to the opacity. If you have it closed, you wanna open it right there. And then you're gonna select this um, square four point polygon mask. After that's done, um, this is gonna pop up right here. And what I like to do is I like to zoom out a little bit to like say 25% because when you go to mask, you're gonna to wanna to drag these points outside the box a little, or outside of your frame a little bit. So what you're gonna to wanna to mask is everything that you want in the in the video still. So I'm gonna bring it over here. And I'm just gonna drag that point up to that. That point down to that. That there. that there so that's pretty good right there um, when you go bring it back into fit and you click off of that you're gonna notice this little line right here um, especially when you play it back so to get rid of this line right here what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go back to your clip and you want to play with the mask feather right here um, you don't want to set a keyframe or anything you just want to completely play with it so it's at 10 right now, let's see what it looks like at 100. See the line's completely gone at 100, so let's see what it looks like at 80. It's gone there, let's see what it looks at 50. You can still see it a little bit, so I'm just gonna bring it up to 100 and see how that goes. And like I said, it looks good. And basically, that's it. All you're gonna wanna do is next is just render the video out. Okay, so now once it's rendered out, you can go ahead and play it and see how it looks. So that's all I did for this clone. Um, I wouldn't, depending on what your shot is and everything and how you shot it, um, you're gonna, definitely gonna wanna play with the feather. Um, leave the opacity and expansion exactly the way it is but basically that is it um and you know this is what it looks like completely done in the middle of the day what to say thanking god for the array of the sun i'm thankful i'll admit it but i'm hungry for this goal i got to get it so if you did like this tutorial go down and slap a like button comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already we'll be doing a bunch of more tutorials this coming summer and i'm back full time on YouTube now since it's summertime. So I got a bunch of tutorials, I'm traveling a lot. And basically, you know, it's gonna be a fun summer, a lot of good content coming to this channel. So don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Memorial Day.